Viewers of Gold Rush Honest Discovery are familiar with Tony Beats, a Dutchman who climbed the ranks in the mining industry from being a mere machine operator. He has become a significant figure in the Klondike. The question arises what company does Tony Beats own? Tony Beats oversees operations at Tamarack. Incorporated a mining company he acquired a couple of decades ago. His various ventures in the Klondike have contributed to an estimated network worth of around $20. Million Tamarack Incorporated owned and managed by Tony Beats plays a central role in the reality television series. Gold Rush where Beats is recognized for his unwavering work ethic as a dedicated Miner the company engages in gold mining activities in the Klondike region of Yukon, Canada, and has been prominently featured on the show documenting the triumphs and challenges encountered by Beats and his team in their pursuit of gold in 214 Tony Beats and Tamarack. Incorporated faced legal repercussions they were charged and fined for violating the Yukon Waters Act by releasing a pollutant into managed Waters the fines totaled $31,000 highlighting a legal setback in Beats Mining. Endeavors naturally he has accumulated, substantial wealth and a significant. Landholding over the course of his career fans are curious to learn the extent of the land he poss. Possesses so how much land does Tony? Beats own Tony Beats is the owner of the Tamarack Mine, a copper mine situated in Ola Township, Houghton County, north of Kamet, Michigan, alongside this Beats. Possesses 18 other land holdings spread across the United States and Canada. Collectively, his mines yield an annual profit of $4.1 million significantly, contributing to Tommy Beats' net worth. Additionally, Beats is the proprietor of the Scrayer Creek Claim, a 1,000-acre gold claim valued at approximately $2.00. Million in Gold Rush Season 4 he leased. This claim to Parker Schnabel's Mining Company as one of the most successful miners featured on the show Tony Beats and his crews invest a considerable amount of time in gold extraction at the fruitful Paradise Hill Mine. Beyond his mining ventures, Tony Beats has built a real estate empire valued at an estimated $10 million in both Canada and the United States. This empire encompasses a diverse range of properties including homes land and mines one notable property is a one dollar million two thousand five hundred dollars squiffed two home located on the yukon river in addition to his extensive real estate holdings tony beats possesses a fleet of mining equipment including excavators bulldozers and trucks with an estimated value of around five dollars Million currently beats possesses one of the most extensive privately held placer. Gold mines in the region however for anyone assuming that he is effortlessly coasting to wealth. Such assumptions would be far from accurate over the seven-month gold mining. Season beats and his crew endure. Grueling 12 to 14 hour work days. Frequently contending with harsh weather. Conditions persist in equipment breakdowns and the relentless pressure of time. One advantage of being the proprietor of his mining operation is the ability to involve family. Members every season beats collaborates with many and three out of his four adult children judging by his on-screen. Portrayal beats comes across as a demanding individual identifying as a hands-on Employer he consistently emphasizes the value of hard work and diligence to his children, if anything beat sees his fortune and popularity as blessing ings, and seems eager to impart the rewards of his fortunate and fulfilling life to his.